I am angry at cancer for stealing my children's innocence. I'm angry at cancer for taking the lives of my friends. I'm angry at cancer for altering my life when I didn't ask it to. I'm angry at cancer for the moment I heard the words, you have cancer. I'm just angry. Well, I think for this project, for me, I kind of felt more comfortable with this project because I kind of got past looking at myself after having my breasts removed. But I can tell you that the first time I saw myself after the mastectomy was probably the hardest moment of my life. I didn't know what to anticipate. I didn't know what I was going to see. And when I finally did see it, I didn't recognize myself. I wondered who I was looking at and how I was gonna adjust to that person. I was shattered. I felt defeated. I felt frail. I didn't feel like the hero everybody kept telling me I was. I didn't feel strong. I felt weak. And I felt alone, even though I was standing in the room with other people. However, I feel like projects like this help us to see that we're not alone. That one by one, we get through things together and that if I can get through it, so can you. If I can heal, so can you in our own way and in our own time. And that I'm not any stronger than you. I'm not a hero any more than you are. Doesn't mean that it's easy, it sucks. And it's not a pretty thing, but somehow we make it look really good because together we can do just about anything. Finding ways to get through this is really difficult. So making it your own is incredibly cathartic, whether it's journaling or cooking. Mine was laughter, finding jokes completely inappropriate jokes at the worst time possible was my way of dealing with it. My doctors probably found my humor completely insane, but it got me through it. Cracking jokes right before my mastectomy, right before every surgery or before radiation was how I got through it. And hey, if you're gonna laugh, why not laugh at cancer? The joke's on it, right? Not on us.